hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Sassy's Beauty and if you're in the family you're welcome but if you're going to your phone or your ipad and you saw my video please subscribe please subscribe please subscribe 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 so i'm you can see why i'm happy you can just see i know i've carried this dress before i've worn this hair before come on i can repeat my clothes right i just did a makeup about this look then i'm gonna i don't know the one i'll upload for that but i just did a makeup about this look and this dress is what I was wearing. I just finished a video and I did this. I want to do this video also. So you can see why I'm happy. I will say I'm preparing the yam and owo food. You understand the African food. The soup is mainly for the Urobo and the Edo people. But the way the Urobo prepare their own, they eat it with starch. But majority of the Edos, we eat it with yam or plantain or anything you want to eat it with any swallow of your choice or I'm sorry any chewing of your choice but the robots if they prepare their own they prepare their own different from the way the Edo people prepare their own the robot they put the oil while the thing is still on the fire if they choose to then the Edo people will take it off entirely make it cold before we put our oil so it's so different because I just think probably because they want to eat their own with swallow that's why they normally prepare it like that we the Edo want to eat our own with chewing stuff so that's why we prepare it like this but anyway i'm going to show you the things i'm going to be using it's not compulsory just work with what you have you understand we are in europe just work with what you have some people use fish this one i don't want to use fish i want to use goat meat i want to use goat meat and just crayfish but it's good for you to use maybe smoked fish or a uh, manla the one that i have smoked already you know but i don't have all those stuff and my house you can see there's no space for me to do all those stuff so but i'm just gonna go with my flow go with what i have so i have my um tomatoes here i have my um fresh pepper and onion and onions here so i'll be blending this and the blender that i have sorry guys the blender that i have is not for blending tomatoes it's for blending food but that's what i have and that's what i'm gonna be using you have to go with what you have so i have my um potash it can i have my potash then i have my seasoning cube there but please if you want to put potash those days when mom, mom was cooking if they just put potash like that and that thing will give us a running stomach you understand please if you want to put potash you should just put a little bit a little bit of potash anyone you have will do but just in a little bit i have my gary People do use when I was I learned how to make a wool when I was living with my sister when we just have the first grandson. The husband will prepare the yam, the husband will come from work and come and prepare the wool. And if you want to make it thick, he uses flour. People can use it, people can use flour. But this one I'm not gonna use flour. During during this time he was using flour. Not that I don't like it, I like it, but just that flour was not my thing. Anytime they prepare it, not that I will not eat, but it was not my thing. You understand? But this one I'll be using. Gary, and if I want to blend, I'm going to show you guys. You can use flour, you can use Gary, but me, I'm going to use Gary. I don't want to use flour. Then I have my crayfish here. Well, they brought it from me from Africa. I have my crayfish here. They brought it from me from home. Then you, sh you should use enough crayfish because I'm not going to use any of the fish so the crayfish i'm gonna be using it should be enough it should be enough as it should be a lot of crayfish because i'm not going to use anything like fish or anything but if you have all those fish smoke fish dry fish that you can use go ahead and dry it but my house there's no space that's why i could not find anywhere i can dry it and this my yam is really cold my hands is really freezing already and this my yam i'm gonna be cutting today i'm gonna be eating this yam with it i'm so happy <laughs> I'm so 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 happy. I swear to God, I'm so happy that I'm preparing this food. <laughs> so bag. So guys, let me just dress um blend the the tomatoes. Then I'll show you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put the curry and the rest. Okay, guys. I just want to wash my pe that pepper is really hot. Just want to wash my onions and the rest.
this pepper is really hot i want to use all of them before they get spoiled if i don't use it then i just get spoiled then this is my tomatoes so let's take grinding but before i start grinding let me call this a bit okay then what i'm gonna do beside this hot water see the way i'm just gonna soak you can see the way i just soak my curry can you guys see that Why I decide to soak the gary is that I don't want, you know, you can see, you can see all those stuff. I, do, I don't want it. I don't need it. I want to wash all the stuff out. You can see. Can you see that? I hope you guys can see. So I don't want I don't want that I don't want it at all <coughs> sorry so I'm good so I'm gonna blend so that you guys will see I'm gonna blend this gonna peel off my mangi I'm just gonna peel off this mangi like this this is the seasoning cube I'm gonna be using I've seasoned the meat already but I just want to season the cube and the, the tomato also see it's very strong can you hear that it's very very strong so see what i'm gonna do you can see my gary is soaking off so i'm gonna put this i'm just gonna put it like this
guys as you can see my goat meat has been on the fire but it's no it's not cooked it's not cooked yet it's not cooked yet so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna i'm not gonna use all of them to cook the the um the wool. i'm gonna take out of it i'm just gonna take a little bit i'm just gonna take a little bit out of it to prepare my oil because i want to make some fried rice during the holidays so i'm not gonna use all of them you understand i'm not gonna use all of them i'm just gonna take a bit out okay i think that's okay for my for my oil. yeah why i did not let it cook a little bit is that why did not let it cook a little bit is that because of the potash i'm going to put potash make your food cooked very easily make your food stuff so that's why i don't want to add enough uh, 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 extra potash so but what i'm going to do i'm going to take a little bit from this water and should be mindful of the salt you're going to put be mindful of the salt because potash have salt in it already so be mindful but what i'm going to do i'm going to take <coughs> excuse me <coughs> oh wow that pepe I'm going to take a little bit of this water and pour it here. Let me just show you guys what I'm going to do. So guys, just what, what I'm just what, what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave this let it cook. That's not what we're after, you understand? That's not what we're after. So let me switch this one on. Then I'm gonna pour my tomatoes inside it. You can see this is my tomatoes. I'm just gonna rest it and pour it in. I told you guys please use what you have at home you understand use little things you have at home please use what you have at home I think I'm gonna switch I'm just gonna switch this and switch this so I can see it very <coughs> So we're going to cover this, we're going to let it cook. I'm not going to put any salt anymore because my potash is coming in. So I'm going to leave it, let it cook. So I'll be right with you guys, okay? So as you can see, it's pretty good you can see it's thick already because of the gary that i had you can see it's thick already you can see it's thick already because of the gary so now i'm going to add my mm, crayfish if you want your crayfish please let your fish be enough you can see the one i've added now sorry guys that my hand is, is moving around because i'm holding the camera with my hand just add enough crayfish you know enough crayfish of the meat water that's why i did no more i don't want to add um salt anymore so i'm gonna test it before i add anything again i'm just gonna test it so I can, as you can see my owo is ready that's my red oil i'm gonna add my owo is ready as you can see i want to put my i want to add my potash now So guys, let me show you how I blended my potash. I just put it on the paper and begin to smash it. Let me show you guys. Can you see? 
and this one is enough please the potash you put it should be little but because if you add too much it's gonna run your stomach i swear to god it's gonna run your stomach so i'm gonna add my potash as you can see it's well blended i'm gonna show you guys can you see it so i'm just gonna add it Just a little bit, or that can run your stomach. If you add too much potash, it's gonna run your stomach. Just a little bit. Just a little. The potash you're adding should be very small. Very small. As you can see, it's thick already. Very small potash. Don't add a lot of potash. The potash you can see the potash is kind of making it a foam you can see it's a little bit on the, on the it's good like that don't add a lot of potash that thing will run your stomach i swear to god that thing will run your stomach the potash you should add should be very little very very little very small don't add a lot a lot of potash okay guys very little. I'm gonna leave this for it to cook maybe in another two or three minutes, then I'll drop it down. So this is my yam. I just wanna play. Please guys, if you wanna peel yam yam, don't play. Because this yam is new yam, so you peel it little by little. Don't peel it the way I don't know how to say this. You know, you just you know, just little by little. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna drop it and show you guys how I prepare my yam also, okay? So guys, I'm gonna show you guys how I boil my yam. So this my yam is washed and is prepared already. So I'll show you guys how I boil my yam. Those sorts, then this sugar, I'm gonna use the both of them to boil the yam because this yam is the new yam and the new yam sometimes if you eat it, it's not that sweet. You understand so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put a little bit of salt can you see that just that then I'm add a little bit of sugar to make my yam excuse me to make my yam sweet that's how I boil my yam that's many people used to say umebo emedo umedo so this is my sugar so girl as you can see <coughs> So good. I'm so I'm gonna add sugar, just a little bit. So that we do. So I'm gonna leave it to cook. I'm gonna let this one be cold enough. Then I'm gonna put my put my oil at the top of it. So if you can see my oil have cooled off, at least it has cooled to the point I, I liked it. It's not that cool. Don't love, leave it that cool and don't leave it that hot so that in case you want to mix, it will be easy for you. So this is my oil and this is my red oil. This is the oil I'll be using. Don't use English oil. Use the red oil. 
Don't go and use granola oil. If you see the perfume, I wish you guys can hear the perfume, what I'm hearing. Oh my God. 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 <laughs> my oil is ready. You have to keep stirring it. Sorry guys, I did not use fish. Not that I don't have fish, I just think... Only the because oh, when you stare because of the fish all the time, it might just break away because you can't fry it and the rest. So, as you can see, our ovo is ready. So, I want to dish mine. Anyone you see, anyone you see, maybe you are in somebody's house and you see them eating yam and ovo. Please and the owo the oil is at one corner. The stew is the soup is at one corner. It's not owo. It's how they make owo. I to, I used to tell my friends use what you have. It's not compulsory. You must put everything. All that's are putting. No, it's not compulsory. I use my goat meat. I'm good. With my crayfish, I'm good. It's what I have. Even my blender is what I have. That's what I'm going to use. You understand? It's what I have. This life I can't give myself. Oh, allow me to rest. Oh, my oh, it's ready, guys. As you can see, it's still very old. So let me dish my then I'll come back to you, okay? So, guys, I'm done cooking. And if you're in the family, you're welcome. Please subscribe to my channel. So, this the yam and, and oh, as you can see, it's ready. I just want to eat. As you can see, the background is changed. I'm in my room now. That was the kitchen. Now it's time for me to eat. It's really good, guys, you know. We the Edo people we enjoy this with yam. Look at mm. Mm, 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 mm. it's really good. Mm. You can't tell me nothing. Don't say a word. Let me be focused, guys. Don't say what. I'm about to take off my wig and focus on my food. So, okay, guys, if you want to see more recipe or I do my cook my prepare my fried rice or anything, I cook anything, just leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification body and keep the like going on. So thank you. I love you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Bye and have a nice day. Merci.